When it comes to racing, the letters SUP and SIC are one and the same in Hawaii. On the island of Maui, Sandwich Islands Composites has been building the world's fastest state-of-the-art race boards since stand-up paddling became a sport. So what differentiates us from a lot of other boards? It's about building the fastest possible race equipment. Not only are they the first company to build custom racing crafts, their boards have also been first across the finish line in nearly every major open ocean event here. In the last, I believe, eight years, the SSC boards have been on the podium nine out of ten times. After years of testing and refining, SICK boards have finally gone into full production with a complete line of boards suited for any condition and any level of rider. Even the top pros used to wait four to six months to take delivery of one of these elite crafts. Now, using advanced molded and hand-built technology, SIC boards will be available to those who demand only the best. We're just a bunch of guys that are out in the middle of the ocean, literally in the middle of the ocean, with all these waves breaking all over the place. We're all surfing, all surfing waves at the same time that are just going and going and going. These waves just come up and you're like, this is ridiculous. The man behind the designs of these sleek crafts is Mark Rapport, whose decades of experience of building boards and understanding paddling crafts has made him the most sought after shaper and designer from the world's most competitive SUP athletes. My background in outrigger canoes allowed me to, to really build some of the classes now in race sports around. As a little grommet in Holland, I just loved the windsurfing sport and all I wanted to do is build boards. My dream was always to come to Hawaii and continue on with my board building career. The industry was booming. I got really fortunate to work with masters like Angulo and Jimmy Lewis. The windsurfing uh, industry adapted the, the boat building technology from the get-go. We picked up uh, epoxy use vacuum technology, start playing with, with more with S-Glass, Kevlar, carbon fiber. I was real fortunate to uh, work with these high-end composite materials from the early 90s on. I left Maui for a couple years, uh, went for a trip around the world, I came back here and needed to make a living. I uh, started a repair shop. I learned quite a bit from having a ding repair shop, not just from the, the epoxy world, but also just running a business, keeping your promises. The building of a winning and fast race board and eventually the decision to mold it is of trial and error. Listening to team riders a lot and just water time more than anything. Because with an outrick canoe you're only under your own power. Design of the hull is so important and the same counts for prone paddleboarding more so than any other sport. You need control in the rough, but you need displacement qualities when it's calm. You need enough rocker not to curl, yet you need to be fairly flat not to push water. All those little nuances, what I learned there, translated in um, SUP design and my design. At some point in time, you start building up a database of what rocker lines are working or what's too straight or what has too much curve in it. And you work from there and you start tweaking it. The type of conditions that we have here, the surf or wind along, the flat water where it's perfectly calm and the downwind all available. The feedback you get from, you know, from the Kalama, from the Hamilton watermen are just amazing. We've switched to reverse engineering with the computer. What happens is we have a board that we like, we measure it all and we see and see it and that way we have perfect symmetry. Yeah, the computer just has a, a more accurate way of uh, building database and making small changes. And most importantly, when we do have a winning board, we have that data. Because in Maui we have such a um, strong competitive crowd racing, it drives each other. If one person is fast, the other one just wants to be faster.
So there's a lot of focus on this particular Moleco run, but all across the US, across the globe, there's good downwind runs. And um, SSC makes a really good, fun downwind product. Uh, we expanded our line though to uh, more surfboards and more um, versatile boards. It's, uh, it's the bullet line and the F-16 is the downwind open ocean uh, performing board with the steering system in it. The X-Series is, is geared towards the more flat water and race scene. The wave piercing bows are essential in uh, fast, good gliding, flat water board. Um, great fitness board, has a really good glide, straighter rocker. And then the recon line is more of a surfing line, uh, where the 11 foot is more to crossover. Uh, the speed you get out of our product, um, the way it can be controlled even in winds from the side with the steering system. Um, yeah, I'd say try it out for yourself. Looks and sounds sincere. I'm out the talk sometimes, and here's that here. With all the factors, man, out of the way. About the weather, man, how was your day?